Good afternoon. This afternoon we're joined by Sujad Hussain from Wipro. Thanks for coming to MarkLogic World 2018 San Francisco. Wipro is uh, MarkLogic's most tenured system integrator partner. I, 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 uh, w I'm happy to report that it, since 2003 we've had uh, you know, a lengthy uh, and profitable partnership. But what brings you to MarkLogic World 2018 today? What is your, what is your primary interest here today? Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for introducing me. Um, uh, I think what we're starting to see in the industry is this proliferation of data and effectively managing data, harnessing data for business uh, uh, profit, uh, I think is a key uh, uh, challenge that our cus customers pose to us. And what we are starting to discover is the power of the MarkLogic uh, uh, database technology uh, to store multi-model data um, assets and to extract knowledge out of those data sources and present big data as big knowledge to build new classes of applications on top of that. So that's really what's exciting to me about MarkLogic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and as, so I should have mentioned that uh, Sujad is Chief Architect and VP of Wipro. I, I'm very interested in understanding how Wipro is enabling its uh, its own organizations, but most importantly, its customers to understand how disruptive a technology mark logic is. Okay. Oh, I can't explain to you in, uh, in the short meeting here, but let me make an attempt. Uh, what we're starting to uh, discover is that uh, there was a design pattern. The design pattern was to pull all data, relevant data, into a data lake and then run your analytics out of that. Uh, what we're starting to find is that it's a bit of a losing battle because data is continuously changing, new data sources are continuously emerging, it's harder and harder to fight that entropy. So what we are now beginning to realize is there's a better way of managing data. How do you virtualize the data? How do you use MarkLogic, a technology like MarkLogic, to catalog those data sources, extract some key entities of those data sources, present those key entities to the, uh, uh, the business analysts, the uh, data scientists, and then enable them an opportunity to build applications on top of this. So what we're starting to now see is the ability to surface all of this knowledge from big data, distributed big data sets, and present them in a usable, usable way for intelligent applications. Hmm. So do you think this is a trend? I mean, uh, are you seeing this in, in, in lots of industries or little pockets here and there starting, you know, as we heard from Jeffrey Moore this morning, for example, the, of the early adopters, or is it a trend? I think it is a trend. You know, we've been speaking to many financial institutions. These are very large banks uh, operating across multiple countries, operating across multiple clouds. And uh, a given bank that I know of, they have something like 71 data lakes. They have no SQL data stores of every brand out there. Uh, they have super massively distributed data assets. Now, the key question that regulators are asking is, do you know where your data assets are? And how do you report off of those data assets? How do you even analyze those super massively distributed data assets? So we think a technology like MarkLogic plays a pivotal role in simply virtualizing that data, presenting that as a catalog. And if you so wish to, you can actually extract entities using ontology uh, to build domain-specific models to build domain-specific applications out of this. So it's a very powerful technology. Yeah, yes, it was a, a, a theme we heard this morning from, uh, from our, our senior management. Um, in conjunction with that, there's an awful lot of discussion about cloud today mm -hmm. and organizations seeking to move their maybe mainframe off, operations off of mainframe into the cloud and so forth. What is your, what is your view of, of that uh, uh, you know, the, the whole notion of moving to the cloud and what are you seeing in the industry That's today? That's an in inexorable trend. I think CIOs across the industry are now beginning to see how they can deconstruct their data centers and move those assets to the cloud. And now what you're starting to see is best-in-class providers for a given uh, service. Uh, for instance, uh, for CRM, you see the emergence of salesforce.com. For infrastructure, you see companies like Amazon or uh, uh, Azure, Microsoft Azure or Google. So increasingly what we're starting to see is the deconstruction of the data center and these uh, data assets are now distributed across multiple, multiple different cloud platforms. 
Uh, once again, the key challenge is, do you know where your data assets are? Do you know how to manage them? Do you know how to report them? Um, and I think uh, MarkLogic, in my opinion, plays a pivotal role in actually uh, virtualizing those data assets. Uh, far more than that, really, if you're looking at extracting semantic value out of those data assets for a given industry, let me take one example. This is a, uh, the financial services industry. You got all of these regulatory requirements, big, thick documents. Uh, what we're now beginning to do in the case of a leading bank is use uh, machine learning and natural language processing algorithms to extract key uh, you know, requirements out of those documents driven by an ontology uh, modeled in MarkLogic. And as we extract those entities, really what these banks are being asked to report on are what's their exposure to market risk, what's their exposure to credit risk, and so on. Uh, so if you can extract those requirements into MarkLogic uh, database and then turn this back to the data sources, ingest the data sources, so you have a very fast way uh, of turning around and reacting and responding to fast changing regulatory requirements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good example. Is there, do we have a similar example, say, in um, life sciences? Is there, are we? Yes, uh, we're working with a leading, um, you know, pharma company right now. I think uh, they're continuously being challenged uh, by regulators. They're being continuously challenged by um, hospitals on the efficacy of their drugs. Uh, and the argument was that, you know, uh, this is a company that, uh, you know, publishes its own clinical trials which is a good thing in one way, but then the public at large, uh, they wish to know what really happens in the real world. Clinical trials are managed by a pharma company. Uh, so they might, you could argue that they have a vested interest in making the clinical trials look good. But what I think the industry is now asking for is real world evidence, right? Evidence from the real world out there. So we designed a real world evidence solution for this pharma company that ingests data from syndicated data sources like Optum, Truven. We have an industry standard ontology to model uh, diseases, symptoms, and a variety of other medical terms. And uh, we're extracting data from a lot of syndicated data sources, from out of uh, you know a lot of public data sources, medical research journals. There might be a researcher out there who might have looked at the side effects of aspirin on somebody who has diabetes in a at a particular age. Uh, it's a very, um, you know, hard to define corner use case, but in the real world you have cases such as that. And the, uh, the key is, if you have access to that data, model that data, and provide regulators, provide marketeers, provide anybody who's interested in it, relevant insights, I think that's a win. So. That's a very exciting and, and very compelling case. Yeah, thanks for that example. So uh, one, one last question. Um, we, we've heard a lot about digital transformation in the last year or so, and, and I like the notion of big data to big knowledge, yes. So let's fast forward to MarkLogic World 2019. One year from now, what will we be talking about? What will we be celebrating in a year from now? In a year from now, I think we'll start to see an emergence of new classes of applications driven by knowledge. Uh, the first step in getting there is to extracting knowledge out of big data and presenting it as domain-specific knowledge to applications. Uh, I can think of multiple applications. An application that we've been working on more recently is in, in the area of question answering. So most people talk about chatbots, but really behind the chatbot, what powers a chatbot is the knowledge base. So we think MarkLogic plays a key role in modeling that knowledge and enabling those chatbots and providing accurate, correct, and legally uh, precise answers, uh, especially in industry domains like uh, pharma, uh, transportation, and so on. So that's just one class of applications. Uh, in yet another case, we're working with a large manufacturer. Uh, they continuously uh, assess the suppliers, and all of the supplier assessment reports come in a variety of forms. Uh, Word documents, PDF files, Excel files, pictures, extracting that information, uh, organizing it meaningfully, and presenting that information to business users in a relevant way is yet another application. So we are starting to see a whole new classes of applications. 
So in that regard, if I might venture out to say, you know, a transactional application is to a relational database. If you extend that analogy, an AI machine learning application is to uh, uh, a semantic database such as um, Logic. Yes. So that's the new class of applications. Yes, yes. That, that would be very exciting to see that uh, within the next year. Well, thank you very much again for coming to MarkLogic World 2018, and we'll see you next year. Thank you, Jeff. Thank Thanks you. So much.